Hey everybody, welcome back for another car wash review. Uh, I am in St. Mary's, Ontario today and it's actually the same day that I did the last car wash um, video in, um, what was it, Bellsmer? Hell, I can't even remember the darn name of that. That uh, Ryko system um, last week. So same day and this is going to give you an example of how quickly a vehicle gets dirty up here in, I'm going to say Ontario, Canada anyways, in the winter time. Because even if we don't have any snow, and we have no snow, grass is green, but um, when the roads get wet, it's just dirty and uh, it really makes a mess of your vehicle. So yeah, I just, just did that car wash earlier today, I don't know, maybe uh, three hours ago, I guess it was. And so uh, yeah, I've got a couple more stops before I head home. and. Yeah, I was just going through St. Mary's. I actually had to uh, visit the hospital here in St. Mary's for a quick second and drove by this road and, and saw the sign. Uh, there's, there's actually a sign out on the road there, but it's called Little Falls Laundromat. And it's a pet and car wash as well. <laughs> so they have some self-serve bays. Uh, I guess they have a laundromat uh, in there. And then uh, also... Uh, actually, I guess that door there, they have a pet wash, and uh, then there's an automatic car wash where you see that uh, door there, and actually it says on there, uh, touchless wash exit. So, we know now it's a touchless car wash, not sure what system it is. So I'm going to get out, we'll have a look at the van, because like I said, it is dirty again. As you can see, especially in the bottom half, every once in a while you'll get some dirt up on the top there, as you can see. But uh, there we go, a little bit of focus. But yeah, as you can see, it is uh, dirty again. The back is really dirty. And this was uh, the part of the van that uh, didn't get cleaned very well on the last one. So we'll see how well this wash does on it. Yeah, it looks like the passenger side is more dirty than the driver's side. Yeah. All right. I haven't had any sun today. It's not that, we're not really that cold out. Uh, it's a little breezy and uh, with no sun it can feel a little cool all right so the entrance to this is uh, off to the side here we have to go out go down the road it's got its own has its own entrance I just wanted to be able to show you is the uh, there it is here's the sign Actually, there's all the information on it. So yeah, Little Falls Car and Pet Wash, Coin Laundromat. Here's the address and the phone number. Okay. Just gotta get out and in. And, oh, looks like a truck just pulled in. He got ahead of me. That's okay. See, touch this wash entrance. I got a little sign right there. Oh, there's someone actually in the wash. I can see their lights. And he's gone. So. Looks like they do the Ultimate for 14, a Deluxe for 12, and the Express for 10. Uh, seven foot clearance. Uh, so, I'll pause this. Looks like it's going to be a little bit. Oh, and I see a little sign there. Saying Wash World. So, you might have a Wash World. And, and uh, myself, and I think most of my uh, viewers, uh, really like Wash Worlds. They're usually pretty good systems. So, we'll see how well this one does, if that's what it is. So, I'll pause it, and I'll start it back up when we're up to the pay machine. All right, so the guy just going through the dryers. There's the um, 
the sign if you want to pause anywhere and look at that. Very nice signage. Stands out nice. So, and they have right on here. Okay. The Ultimate Deluxe and Express. So we're obviously going to do the Ultimate Wash. We'll do debit, credit, tap. Please tap your card. Alright. Authorizing. Approved. Print receipt. receipt. Yes. Ooh, and the receipt. So even the receipt works here. Those of you that watch my reviews regularly know that usually I get about a 50-50 chance of getting a receipt. Usually it's either jammed or out of paper. Wait for that door to go all the way up. There we go. Ooh, nice big strong, called the Power Tower. And it is a Wash World Razor. Uh, see if I can show you. It's so foggy in here. They've got these little reflectors on the ground. There we go. Alrighty. Yeah, these Wash World razors are so smooth. Coverage was good on the first pass, so now let's do a second. And I like how it goes across twice on the front. I guess really it's three times on that one. Look at that, really good coverage. Wow, look at that. Fantastic coverage. And you can tell it's not water either, because look, it's still thick. Really good. It's even going back and forth at the, at the back as well. That's excellent. Nice and smooth, it's not rushing. Here we go, 
the trifold. And pretty good coverage, except there in the center. Didn't do very, all that great, but on the sides, even got a bit on the back. What the heck? Oh, this must be like some type of surface protectant. Spot free rinse, I'm guessing. So I think they don't have a, uh, a board in here letting you know what's being done, but. Mmm, sure smells good. Well, oh, this must be the spot for your rinse. So this is the Wash World High Velocity Dryer. <laughs> oh, actually they did have a, a board there. I didn't even notice if it was working or not. I still had like 10 seconds on the on the dryers but these dryers um they uh they normally don't do the top of the, the van's a little too tall and they're kind of angled down so they don't get the top half of the van you'll see when i get out but i'm pretty sure this did a good job oh yeah yep very good job, very good job. Yeah, it's just the top, like, I mean, there's a little bit of water at the bottom half, it's just the top, top half. It's just because uh, how tall the van is. Yeah, look at the back, look at the difference compared to uh, the last one. A little bit of dirt up at the very, very top there. Again, could be just because of the height of the van. It doesn't reach up that far. But, yeah, the passenger side was dirtier than the driver's side, and it's clean. Yeah, and you can see what I mean, too. Sometimes I talk about these hard-to-reach spots in here that the, um, that the touch systems miss. This had a really good high-pressure rinse on it, so it got all of those areas. Great job. Really, really good. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this wash to people. These wash, these um, wash world razors and that, they're really good. Good car washes, unless it's it's not being maintained or anything like that. Then I guess you might get a bad experience, but for the most part, I usually always have really good luck with them. I think they're a very good system. If I was to, uh, if I was to open up my own car wash and uh, 
If I was going to get a touchless system, I think that's the route I would go. But uh, anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. Is this one of your favorite uh, touchless systems? And uh, whether it is or not, do you think it's one of the best ones out there? Uh, I, I think it's pretty good. But uh, anyways, yeah, I, can't, I don't have any complaints about it. Uh, I mean, the tri-foam, it didn't really reach the, the, the center part of the... The van that well but again it could be just because i got such a, a big vehicle but uh yeah I, I can't be disappointed with the results i think it turned out really good so i hope you enjoyed it um thanks a lot for watching everyone please uh comment down below let me know what you think uh like subscribe share all that good stuff and uh i'm gonna take a picture of this right now and throw it up on instagram so make sure you follow me on instagram if you want to know what uh what reviews I'm doing. This is uh, still Wednesday. This is two that I, this is gonna be my second, um, second one that I posted on Instagram today. And uh, this one, uh, I'm probably not gonna upload for another probably week and a half. So uh, it's a good way to find out way ahead of time what, uh, what washes I'm reviewing. So anyways, take care everyone. Hope all is well and look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care, bye.